sorry that the boss couldn't be here. There's only so much a guy can do. This is a difficult time. I know. I find that it's helpful to just take a deep breath and be happy. Why don't I explain our program to you? <sighs> now, I'm a proxy for death, and all of this can be a little traumatic, to say the least. And um, I'm going to be asking you some questions so that you can leave your life on some good terms, give you a chance to reflect. This usually takes about an hour, but if we finish early... I'm ready. Okay, people aren't usually that eager. Um, let's just take a look at your file. Okay, Damien Kelly, 20, 25. Wow, that's pretty young. I'm sure you lived a very happy life. Don't be so sure. Well, let's make sure we keep that happiness going around here, okay? Uh, let's move on. Uh, cause of death. Hey, don't look at that. I'm a proxy for death, and I'm going to be asking you some questions about your life so that you I can I know leave your exactly life. why I'm here, proxy. I'm here because of me. And are you happy with what you've done? What? Death doesn't like when people take their lives before he can? Mr. Kelly, I'm not in the business of death, I'm in the business of happiness. And it's people like you who make my job more difficult. You're a shitty interviewer, aren't you? Question one. Could you please describe your Did childhood? Make you uncomfortable, the happy proxy. Moments? The thought of someone being so unhappy, please, of Mr. being Kelly, so unsatisfied with their life, that ending it is the most attractive option. That's it's unbearable, Damien. isn't it? to not have peace of mind. Well, I just spent my whole life without That's peace. Enough, Damien. I'm not satisfied, Proxy. I want out. What? Do you enjoy living, Mr. Kelly? That smile, the deep breaths. You thought that this was a dream and that you had woken up and that made you happy. So let me ask you again. Do you actually scratch that? Um, would you do your life over again, Mr. Kelly? What life? Wrong answer. Why do you keep doing that, man? Do you think smiling is going to make me happy or something? Why did you run the red light? What does that have to do with anything? Do you run red lights often? Or, well, did you run them often? How hard is it to die when I'm already dead? Stay positive, Damien. Given up yet? 
you're one to talk. Why the seashell? I was looking at your file. Seemed like a pretty significant day. It was an awful day. I was alone on that beach. I had no one to show the shell to. I just thought it looked cool. Everything. Everything that's ever happened to me. Everything that's interesting or special. Special to me. I've just been alone for it. My whole life has been mine and no one else's. Now you tell me, Proxy, why would I want to go back to that life? You know, if you didn't want to talk about something that made you sad, you could have just said so. Everything makes me sad. I'll bet if you gave it even a little bit of effort, you could find some happiness in everything. Everything makes me sad. Well, you mean things like this? Sure, those things were hard. They were bad. But they were still life, weren't they? Can't be that hard to find something positive in your life. If I could do it all again, I would. What shade of green is the go right? What? What shade of green is it? Is it like a yellow green or a blue green? I can't remember. Because like you sit there waiting 
at the red light for so long. Or it is so bright and it just takes forever. And the moment it turns green, you just go. I didn't spend nearly enough time looking at green lights. Four minutes, Mr. Kelly. It was a pretty shade. I remember that. Mr. Kelly, have you left your life on terms that you would describe as happy? If so, how helpful I'm has... I'm not ready. Meaning you've found some happiness? You're leaving your life on good terms? What were you crying about on that beach? It's possible to cry about more than one thing. The thing about passing on proxy doesn't always have to be happy. It's usually sad.